What is going on guys? It is your boy Bio2K and today man we are back with episode number 14 of the No Money Spent series. You guys have been killing the support man on this series so obviously I'm going to keep grinding and keep bringing it to you guys. Again you guys already know the deal. A thousand plus likes and obviously I'm going to be bringing more No Money Spent fire to you guys. So yeah if you guys do enjoy the series be sure to leave a like on it. If you guys are new to the channel be sure to hit that subscribe button and uh yeah let's get right into it so i'm gonna hop right into some stuff that we got to talk about so right away you guys can see the squad of what we're kind of rocking with um you guys can see we got Kawhi leonard here obviously one of the brand new duos that did come out yesterday between him and siakam now i'm gonna show you guys why i picked up this duo in just a second but also we did pick up this galaxy opal andrea karolinko i sold the other one i think i don't know if i sold them in the last episode i think i did um i don't even remember but basically i went ahead and picked him up i got him for an I don't even actually know. I think maybe like 90k. Not entirely sure, but it definitely is worth the upgrade. Um, you guys will be able to see. I actually, I think most of the people. Yeah, I was gonna say most of the people I played quit. Um, I think well everybody quit. But 51 Hall of Fame badges, 16 gold badges, really solid card, just all around, just a beast. Um, and you guys are probably like, Bio, what are you talking about with the games that you played? I'll get into that in a minute. So you guys can see this is the main reason why I picked up the duo. You guys can kind of see the stats it boosts on both sides um, as far as, like I said, the actual stats go. But mainly the badges are why I wanted to pick up this duo. So right away, you guys can see with Kawhi, it gives him Hall of Fame Deadeye, Quick Draw, and Tireless Score. And over for Siakam, it does give him Hall of Fame Deadeye as well. But then again, back to the stats, it gives them boost to three-point shot, mid-range, defense, rebounding, all that sort of stuff. And I think it's just going to be a really solid duo. I really love using Kawhi in this game anyway. You guys know I am more of a defensive-minded player. Um, so having Kawhi obviously playing the two is going to be really helpful for us. And I think it's going to be a perfect fit. So that's going to kind of cover the new additions to the team already between Kawhi um, and Karolinko. Outside of that, though, as of right now, the team is going to stay the same. Um, obviously on the actual squad, you know, this is what it's looking like. Um, but you guys know just I don't like the way his contracts, especially on a team like this. So we're just rocking the bronzes at the end. So kind of covering what I was talking about here. You guys can see we're now 0-0 on Unlimited. I was just 9-0, and we did lose, so that's where the tokens and a little bit of MT and stuff came from. We did get a KD Prime Pack, um, and I'm not going to lie. like I was so frustrated from losing. I opened it and didn't even think to wait for the video. Um, but yeah, it's really annoying, but uh, it is what it is. I'm not... like. I, you guys keep telling me that, you know, hey, like, you know, I love the videos, but you got to kind of ease it up with the complaining. Like, you guys got to understand something. Like, it's hard for me to not really complain while I'm playing this game because it's very bad. And I understand that, yes, I know I need to stop. But at the same time, like, you guys really got to understand that it's very frustrating. And if I keep it bottled up, that's how broken controllers and stuff happen. So sometimes I just let it out. So I will try to ease it up. But, uh, yeah, no promises there. But, um... Yesterday, though, there was those dynamic dual packs that did come out, and it tanked a lot of stuff on the auction, so we're going to be going ahead and taking a look at some new upgrades to potentially make to the team, maybe sell some players, stuff like that, so we're just going to get these, like, token packs out the way here, um, but yeah, so the unlimited game that I actually ended up losing was to a kid that literally did not green a single shot, didn't green a single shot, and on top of that, I couldn't score, like, it was just a cluster of so many different things, like, literally, when I say nothing was going right, I truly mean nothing was going right and it is what it is when algo kind of hits you there's just nothing you can do and you know if you really play this game you guys know that there really isn't anything I could have done it literally was just a situation where shots were being hit in my face you know my guys weren't playing defense nobody was rebounding like I literally was dropping like 40 a game with Karolenko because believe me that card is really solid and I went from dropping 40 with him to him having like 10 points or whatever heading into the fourth because I couldn't score it like i said it is what it is so i'm not even going to stress it anymore we lost it's all it's done and over with it's the 24th right now so we have a basically like a week left to try to go for jerry lucas i'm still going to make one last push for him so we'll see what happens there um outside of that though i'm just going to go ahead and sell these coaches because we obviously don't need them so not too bad though after those uh token packs we did go ahead and make 65k um a lot of you guys were telling me to sell west unsell now i thought about it but the thing is I don't know who to sell him for because I mean, obviously taking a look at his value, I mean, well, not his price went down. So you know, never mind. I was going to say after taking a look at his value, I would like to sell him, but I'm definitely not doing that. Like I like the way my team is. Cause like the thing is, is we don't lose like normally, like when we lose, it's the things, like I said, like that just happened. It's just like, we don't lose to, you know, 
because like our team doesn't perform well we just lose because algo is just ridiculous in this game but again i'm just i'm not even gonna bother um i think we yeah i was gonna say i got this uh miles bridges in the last video we do actually have two new locker codes too to go ahead and punch in i don't know if the vault updated yet the vault actually did so there are brand new things in the vault as well there's two new opals and artist gilmore and hershey hawkins um i kind of want to see if i can get gilmore um i think gilmore would be a really good replacement for uh mikhail um kind of have like a bigger center that could rebound and stuff like that but uh yeah we'll have to see what happens there but let's get these locker codes in so the locker codes we're actually going to be punching in is for a dynamic duo which is kind of funny um definitely uh one of the more interesting things so again if you guys don't know like i said a bunch of duos did drop yesterday as well as those packs but um with the duos drop or with these uh locker codes dropping they actually did drop for an actual duo like i said and uh it's funny because if you like don't get one you're kind of screwed because they're not really all that good together so like when they're not together they're just completely useless so we're gonna go ahead and punch them in see if we can get them you know see whatever happens here uh but i don't know it'll, it'll be interesting to say the least here so you guys can see it's Derek fisher and robert ori um ideally getting the tokens wouldn't be all that bad either so the first drop we're basically guaranteed i would say to get a player unless we just get like a terrible bounce or whatever and it does go towards the middle like it is I actually, you know, now that I, I kind of, I was going to say, I kind of just want the tokens. So, I mean, I kind of just want the players. So we do get Robert Ori there, which is pretty cool. Um, now this next soccer code is all going to be dependent on if we can get Derek Fisher. All right, so let's see. Robert Ori's locker code now. The first one, the oddly, like, oddly enough, the first one was actually for Derek Fisher. Um, and I think we landed in the harder spot. So now it's like, now we kind of need to land in the harder spot to get, uh, to get um robert Ori, so we'll see what happens there but um i'm just a little curious to know what happens here you know i really should have just pulled this up on my uh <laughs> on my computer because looking at my phone it's actually a little bit more difficult to keep looking down and then like making sure i'm punching in the right things these are just to look like here and there you know what i mean all right l d t all right there we go again feel free pause the video at any time to punch those in they're going to be available for about a week after posting this so you guys have about um until probably the end of june so we do need to land in a yellow spot oh this should be fun all right i'm gonna drop it on this side now hopefully we can land and get Derek fisher that is the ideal one and let's freaking go man we actually get the dynamic duo that is actually really fun man like i was really hoping we could do that so pretty cool enough um we do get the dynamic duo so now we can go ahead and take a look at Derek fisher and robert ori so pretty nice uh let's scroll back down to dynamic duos and yeah look at that man i'll take that there we go so Derek fisher gets 44 plus to his post moves interesting robert ori gets plus four to his three Derek fisher plus seven to his three okay they actually get a lot of wow okay they, they might not be that bad like they could actually be kind of fun to play around with i didn't realize that they was gonna be like this i mean fish gets like hall of fame everything i mean he gets dead eye and then on hall of fame he gets freaking interceptor he gets pogo like what the hell robert ori gets hall of fame dead eye quick first step intimidator dimer like this duo maybe not may not be all that bad so I'm actually going to hop into an, un oh, yeah, an unlimited game. I'm going to hop into a triple threat game here. We're going to kind of test them out. I meant to put um, AK in instead of Siakam, but I actually clicked the wrong card and then didn't even realize it until now, like literally like as I'm seeing them. So that kind of sucks, but I wanted to kind of have fun with AK a little bit. Let's go. We're going to attack the rim right away with Derek Fisher. Good pass back Siakam wide open. Okay. That felt really laggy, but we still got to drop anyway. Works for me. Um, and it is kind of funny too. So we are actually on controller number two of the day. Um, we did have a fallen soldier, unfortunately, but that is the price of playing unlimited sometimes. Let's go, Derek Fisher, wide open. Green bean. I really like that jump shot, man. That was really smooth, really cash. I will take that. Let's go. Good defense. Come on. Clutch up. Robert Ori, what you got for me? Derek Fish. I mean, look, hey, if Derek Fisher can play good defense, that's all that matters. I mean, Robert Ori just kind of got, you know, yeah. We're not gonna even talk about it you know what i'm saying my man my man robert ori bro he just maybe he just wasn't ready i don't know we're just gonna we're gonna give him the benefit of the doubt let's go Derek fisher wide open again i'm telling you his jump shot is really clean if you guys want to know how that unlimited game went that right there that's just uh, it's the last time i'm going to talk about it but that right there is exactly what that unlimited game was him just throwing the ball at me and me freaking 
whiffing on the pass and then him making like a very early like that's literally all it was let's go good steal right there Derek fisher again i dude he might actually have one of my favorite jump shots in this game like it is just so oh that was just a really good time for a bounce pass i can't even lie about that that was just that was just a good bounce pass right there he's gonna uh earlier shot it is gonna go in all good robert Ory's jump shot did feel a little bit weird but i want to see actually how this shot is because that actually felt really good just unable to green it unfortunately bro <laughs> i'm not even joking i was just talking about selling west on sale like do we sell west on sale for Derek fisher i'm just saying my man fish is looking like a goat right now bro i mean i know it is just triple threat and obviously we're not playing like a super sweat so I don't know, man. We might have to keep Fish around just because he actually is pretty solid. But that is the only problem right there that I'm afraid of as he is way too small to be playing defense. Let's go, Ori. There we go. Finally knocking down a nice little three. I will take that. Nice, easy green. I do want to take at least one more jump shot with him before this game is over just because I want to actually test him out before I, uh, you know, do match up with a super sweat and we can't even have some fun in this game. But uh, no, all jokes aside, though, I do want to make sure that his jump shot actually is pretty good because it, it does feel pretty good. I just kind of, you know, we just kind of mistimed it the first couple times. Let's go. Quick stop there. <sighs> See, I don't know. Something seems weird about it. Let's go fish wide open. Good green bean. There we go. That's a good way to end it. My man Derek Fisher had 16 points that game. Like in his debut game, green in most of his shots and, you know, actually looking pretty good. I will gladly take that. My only thing though, like I said about him, is definitely just his defense. That is the only thing that kind of scares me a little bit just because like defensively, like he's way too short and like I like players that can actually grab the ball. So people are throwing the ball over his head the whole time. Like that's not really going to fly over here. All right, so we do get a gold consumable pack. I mean, it's probably going to be like a contract, or like an injury card or whatever the case is. I was going to say, I would prefer it to be a contract. But again, I definitely like what I saw from Derek Fisher and uh, Robert Ori. We're going to start our 12-0 run. Don't worry. Like, we're going to hop back into Unlimited and kind of have some, well, let me, let me stop there and say, oh, we're going to have fun. But I don't know about that. But uh, I do want to kind of look into making some moves for the team. Um, because I do plan on getting Jerry Lucas like that is the plan here the starting five I really like I don't think I want to change really anything about it um, and the same thing with the bench like maybe a backup center is what we can kind of look at because Mikhail is cool but I don't really feel like he's just like like fun you know what I mean like I want to use cards that are fun same thing with Wes Unsell like I do like Wes Unsell being there it's just like I don't know what other point guard we can go out and pick up that's kind of cheap that would be actually fun to use um i mean we could look into picking up a guy like gary payton i mean gary payton is kind of nice definitely not jason T jason terry though who is paying 250k for jalen rose what are you doing let's go good pass back robert ori there we go green in a shot that's about time i mean maybe this is going to be the game now fish doesn't green any shots but I did want to hop into another one. Like, oh my god, okay, that I, okay, that may or may not have just caught me leaning a little. I ain't gonna lie to you, okay? That they may or may not have caught me slipping. Let's go, fish. Put the moves on him. Oh, go ahead, all the way. Okay, floor spacing, not the best of things right here. Let's go, fish. I see you wide open. Good greens right there. Me and my opponent are definitely both struggling to score. Like we both missed like probably like three or four shots in a row now. Like it's just definitely one of those games. Let's go, Robert. No. Oh, my God, bro. That's what I'm telling you right there is what I'm talking about. This game is just being weird. Like, not even just for me. Like, my the same thing just happened to my opponent. Like, he tried to freaking pump fake, and I saw it because he pump faked it, and it straight armed him and gave him a very, like, very early. It is so weird that, like, this game is just acting like this right now. Let's go. Good defense. There we go. Hey, see, look, this is all I need from you. Okay, now you're kind of getting blown by. Good defense. Let's go. Good defense from Fish again. Good rebound. Come on. Push this out. Fish, I see you. Just take a standing shot. What is going on here? Let's go. Good defense from Karolinko. Again, that is the main reason why I do like that card. Is on defense, he is super glitchy, and his jump shot is really easy to knock down as well. Let's go. Good defense from Robert Ori. Okay, a little weird of an animation. Don't know how that was 32% contested, but he still got it to go. Let's go, Karolinko. Good green bean in the corner. Finally getting that going as well. We got a nice little eight-point lead. Just got to keep that going. Watch some skip passes. Stay there, fish okay a little bit late that's on me let's go over there again good defense stick with him nope we're all over that let's go good d why i literally clicked onto him and he jumped good defense so wait oh yeah that's 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 2k 20 right there there you go let's go good defense as a team man carolinko kind of closed out on that himself 
Let's go, fish wide open. Oh, I gotta be able to green that. That's an easy dunk, though, for Robert Ori. I will take that. There we go. That's a good way to close out that game. Whew. All right, I'm not even gonna lie to you. After he hit that shot, oh, things were just going all sorts of wrong. I was missing. I was getting stripped. I was falling out of bounds. But it's okay. We got the win. That's all that matters. Let's go. Hopefully, we can get a good board. I don't even know what board we're on. I totally forgot. Like, I didn't even look. I'm assuming we're on the one ball drop. Yeah, and we get a heat check pack, so I'll take that. Heat check players do, well, sort of. They were kind of glitched yesterday, so they were going for a good amount, but probably not anymore. So, whatever we get here works for me, whether it is a heat check pack or it is just empty or like a token. It don't matter, really, either way. Um, I just don't want to get reset 15 times. That's, that's really my only thing, and uh, probably going to get reset. All right, so yeah, we did get the heat check pack, so we'll see what we can get out of there. Um, unfortunately, I'm going to have to like stop recording here and then start recording again later. So you guys are going to see this a little bit later on today. Um, I do want to actually get this out early to you guys, but if you guys don't know, I'm actually selling my house or my family is trying to sell the house and stuff like that. So unfortunately, people are coming to you know take a look at it and whatnot, and that obviously means that I can't be recording or streaming because then it's just going to be kind of weird if people just come pulling up and i'm just like yeah like what is going on god like it's a little weird you know what i'm saying so unfortunately we have to stop there but uh believe me i don't want to i just kind of have to for now but hey good little start to the episode so far i mean you guys aren't going to know the difference it's obviously just going to transition into something else but uh yeah unfortunately i have to stop right now so you guys already know what's about to happen wow i know it's getting old, right? Yeah, I gotta stop. But anyway, we're back. Here we go. Getting into some unlimited. It's starting out 0 and 0, so it doesn't even matter who we match up with, whether we lose, whether we don't lose, whatever the case is, we are good to go, man. We're gonna have to sweat out these final 12 games, though, because like I said, I do want to actually add Jerry Lucas and James Worthy to the team. I think those are two players that really do fit this team. So that is what we're gonna try to do here. We're gonna see what happens, though. All right, so we got a pretty interesting team here to say the least. Um, I actually, there's going to be like a weird cut. I dropped my controller, so sorry about that. Um, but uh, yeah, we got a pretty interesting team though. He's got LeBron, Giannis, KD, Danny Manning, and Karolinko. So should be an interesting battle here. I think we're going to be okay though, all jokes aside, because like, I don't know, our team just kind of matches up really well. You know, we kind of have the height advantage of Bull Bull. So rebounding should be on our side, but then again, it's 2K, so you never know. All right, so here we go. Bull Bull versus AK. Probably should win the tip, but uh, I had a feeling we were going to lose it. All good, though. Let's go. I actually did make a little bit more of a, or I did make a purchase off, uh, you know, off recording here, and it was for the Bucks playbook, um, just to kind of give us more of an advantage for uh, five outing, obviously, and stuff like that. Um, obviously going to help us out a little bit more. Well, I picked that up. Uh, I thought we were actually going to get a steal right away. Let's go. Good defense. Siakam, we are all over that. And really, that is how we're going to start off on defense. Okay. Well, you know, I'm actually okay with that. We did play great defense. Just unfortunate animation there. Kawhi, his first jump shot is good to go, even though it is a full white. We're still knocking that down. Do not... I swear to God. I was about to say. Like, I... You know, it's one thing for him to catch it, but it's a whole nother thing for them to let him make that. Let's go. We're going to get Bird wide open in the corner, unable to green that. Okay, really interesting start to this game so far. Let's go, Bird going all the way, jamming that down. There we go, good start. 7-2 to two lead already. We just got to make sure we keep doing our thing because, again, our defense is actually on point this game as I uh, leave him wide. Oh, that was... You know what? Honestly, I'm okay to live with that because we actually closed out on that very nicely. The only real problem there was the fact that he was just able to uh, kind of just get a good animation and uh, green that shot. So I'm not, I'm not going to complain. It was pretty good. Let's go. Good defense from Bull Bull. Good rebound. Let's go. Let's push this out. We're going to get Kawhi. Kick that over. Ah, I was going to kick it over to um, I was going to kick that over to Bird in the corner. We're going to get Siakam. That sh I feel like that should have been wide open. Like we had a good shot right there. It was just way too slow of an animation. But we get the board back from Bull Bull being just a glitch and we knock it down. So all good. No worries. Bull Bull slide over. Terrible contest, but all good. Like I said, we're just going to keep pushing forward. We're chilling. As long as we got the lead, it don't matter what is happening. Let's go. Right, you guys probably aren't going to see a lot of that first quarter. Just very poor way to end it. That's all I'm going to say. You guys asked me to, you know, kind of avoid complaining as much. Good block from Bull Ball, man. That is a huge block in the paint right there. Kind of saving an easy two by my opponent. But, uh, yeah, just a lot of missed shots. That's all I'm going to say. Shot a terrible percentage. All wide open looks. Just... Ended the quarter straight arming like four shots in a row. So I'm just not even going to bother even, you know, worrying about it or anything like that. Yeah, all right. Just give him the ball right back. It's all good. 
go. Good defense from Bobo. Good rebound. Bobo is actually killing it so far in this quarter for me. See Occam go all the way. Jamming that down. Giving us kind of a high play right there to get us going. You guys can see. We're shooting like we were probably shooting under 30% at that point. Or under 40%, excuse me. Um, but yeah, let's go. Come on. We got Curry, or he's got Curry in the game now. We're going to go all the way. Just get out the way. Just easy layup. Let's go. Let's go Siakam. Good green bean. Wide open. Finally starting to be able to knock down our shots. Extending this lead to eight. Or to eight. Good math, Bio. Good job. Let's go. Good defense. It's going to go back to Curry. Thank you. I thought it didn't even let me get that steal at first. Jam that down. 12-point lead. All the momentum going our way now. Finally being able to get these steals and actually green our shots. Looking pretty good. Watch that skip pass. All right. I'm okay with this if he tries to snatch back. Yeah, see, I was going to say, we're all over that. Let's go, Siakam. Good hop step. Way to get glitchy on him. We're actually doing really good, too. Like, our post, Bull Bull has 8 and 7. Bird has 2. I mean, I thought he actually had a little bit more. But my man Siakam, 8 and 3. We are playing very good, though, on that end of the floor. Like I said, we just got to keep doing our thing, man. We are doing exactly what I want this team to do. Just I kind of have to do it a little bit better, I guess. Bull Bull, good rebound. Let's go push this out. We got Magic. Curry is the only one back. I was going to say that should be an easy bucket. So now he's got Bill Walton in the game at point guard, which I feel like is really just going to help us out here. Nice little backcourt violation. I will take that. How are we? Okay, so they put Karolinko at center, and then they put Mikhail at the four. So that could be an advantage for us and also could screw me up here because we do have... Uh... Yeah, we do have uh, Taco Fall on us. I, I'm not even going to lie. I just really wanted to shoot like a mini heat check right there and just kind of see what happens. Good defense. There we go. Are you going to quit? go ak all the way right past taco fall jamming that down so for everybody that keeps telling me to to pick up taco fall that is the exact reason right there why i don't want to pick him up is mainly because of his ability that just gets crapped on on defense like he's a glitch in the paint but like as soon as he leaves the paint he's just a liability basically all over the floor so that is something oh my god that is just something i don't want to deal with and i just straight arm that shot so if you guys don't know what a straight arm is feel free to pause the video and go look at my jump shot animation i just got because that is basically what it is let's go pierce right past everybody again taco fall can't do anything clyde is a blow by as well i will take that let's go slow it down come on bump him a little bit let's go watch that perimeter let's go oh he didn't shoot that i thought he was gonna shoot that let's go and that's why again i like ak because he can stop people in the post I, what are you trying to cheese a bucket like let's go ak get a little glitchy on him this is a kind of a cool matchup because he is running ak at center as well so it is kind of giving me the ability to run ak there um that is just not a good shot i mean i guess, I guess for the time he had it was but, uh, yeah, the fact that we have AK going at each other, I think that's kind of cool. Um, if we start getting our rebound and stuff, though, I am going to put Bull Bull back in this game. Um, but, uh, yeah, so, again, same thing, too, because I know a lot of people are going to be like, yo, why did you replace Marcus Gasol? Like, what's the deal there? This is the exact reason why is because a lot of people run these lineups that have AK, that have a lot of these faster centers and stuff like that, and you really can't, like, it's kind of hard because you really can't have a guy like Marc Gasol out here when people are running guys like AK, you know, even if he was running like Bull Bull or whatever the case would be, you know, you can't have a guy like Marc Gasol because he'll literally just get torched on both ends of the floor. That's an easy, okay. Let's go. Good backdoor cut. Mikhail all the way. Easy dunk. If you guys don't know how to do that too, because I've actually seen a lot of comments of people ask me like, yo, like how do you make people backdoor cut and stuff like that? All you got to do is hold triangle on uh, and kind of point to the player that you want to do that. Um, and that's really good too when people try to bait double teams and stuff like that, because what they do is they try to bait the, that's a terrible pass. They try to bait a double team. And when they do that, if you backdoor cut, you're going to be basically wide open for an easy uh, layup. So easy layup or dunk um but yeah just a tip right there to kind of help you guys go against some of these super sweats that be lurking in unlimited 24 7 that should be spamming double teams at you and whatnot let's go that how is that okay i could have sworn that was a backcourt but okay good defense let's go pierce lock up baby let's go mikhail all the way nice little deep hash rim run for mikhail i actually do really like him too a lot of you guys are recommending him and i'm kind of happy i listened to you guys because mikhail is one of those guys that I don't know. I think they're just very surprising. I just got stuck on my own teammate right there. But, uh, yeah, he's actually pretty good. Definitely one of the better budget ballers, I would say, in this game that is a free opal. You know, let's go. Kick that across the bird. Let oh, thank you for letting me hit that. I was going to say, I keep lagging on my releases in the second half. So, glad, you know, we're actually able to knock that one down. My opponent definitely has been going on a momentum swing here. Good defense, I guess. 
That's all good. We still got a 16 point lead. So as long as we can kind of hang on to that, we will be all right. I'm going to let this clock run because I don't. I think he gets the ball first. No, I get ball first. So if we can actually score here, that'd be kind of ideal. But uh, yeah, so let's go hit him with a quick little move going all the way to the rim. Finish that. Let's go, Bird. I will take that. All right, we're going to box him up really quick. Let's go. Nothing easy. Watch the corner. Watch the corner. Let's go. Perfect. Oh, we get lucky. We definitely got lucky right there with him missing that. I thought there was a little bit less time, so that's why I actually jumped at that instead of just running and contesting it. But uh, yeah, we got lucky right there. We're going to get the ball back, though. So we got an 18-point lead, right? Yeah, 18-point lead. If we can score, make it a 20 lead. We should be able to win this game, but, you know, it's 2K, and you never know what can happen. So, you know, we'll, we'll see what happens here. Let's go. Back to ball, ball, wide open. Easy greens. There we go. Let's go, Kawhi. There we go, baby. Kind of baited him right into that. Let's go, Siakam. Push that tempo. Jam that down. I love this Siakam. I know I say this every, like, every single episode, but this Siakam is slowly becoming my favorite card in this game. I'm not even joking, because he's a nice budget card. Oh, I got Icon Glitch. That's a good shot right there. Um, but yeah, like he's just a good budget card and on top of that. Like there's just no weakness about the card And that's just you know, it's just kind of fun All right, Let's go magic attack the rim get that back to full ball patience Get a little glitchy. Oh, I wanted that and one All right, let's see if we can just close out this game strong definitely not the uh, last couple like not the best last couple possessions We actually get bailed by a foul right there, which is pretty nice um, but yeah I think I'm like all of six to start this quarter or something like that just strictly because we can't score But it's all good or no, I don't think I think we may have scored like once or twice, but um It's all good. Like I said, we still have uh, we've been playing pretty good So we just got to make sure we keep that going here because that is like the biggest problem here. Let's go good D Stick with it. Okay, that's that's an interesting animation. My man ball ball just got his career ended though Let's go magic. That's an easy steal imagine falling for a bait where somebody flops and you still throw it at him like that's that's just a sad day. I, dude stop throwing me the ball like i'm just trying i was like you guys saw i was talking to the camera he threw it at me okay i it's not my fault he's that baited but no, all jokes aside though good close out to the rest of this game we've been just kind of uh you know we've been missing a lot but our defense at least has been on point like to the point where you know we're just kind of shutting him down um but yeah, nice little win right here to kind of start off our run again. Hopefully our run can go a little bit more like this where we're actually, you know, even if the game starts out slow, us being able to, you know, finish strong is just really what needs to happen because, you know, as long as we have the lead at the end of the game, that's really all that matters. But my man is just throwing the ball at me repeatedly. Like, I don't know what else to say. Like, that was a pump fake, but okay. How is that not an offensive three? I was about to say, my man is just in the paint. Like, he posted it from the other side and went to the opposite side, like, and just sat there posting up the entire time. Like, I was about to lose my mind, bro, if that wasn't an offensive three. I'll take that easy shot right there with Siakam. Works for me. Just kind of, uh, you know, stat pad a little bit more. But, um, pretty good game, like I said, to start out. That's a tough scene because I actually have to score or just shoot up a shot or whatever. I can't just run the clock out. But, uh, yeah, like I said, everybody played pretty good. The only person that I think could have done a little bit better was Kawhi. Uh, but, I, you know, at the same time, I don't really think it was his fault. Just I think it was just the way that the game was because it was the same thing when we first played with uh, Kareem. Like, on this account, like, when we had, like, the, the buzzer beater one, he, like, could have been better. It was just the kind of the opponent we played up against. So, maybe it was just that. I don't know. Definitely a good game from Bull Bull and Siakam. They kind of backpacked the team a little bit. Magic had a nice little double-double. His defense was really good. Again, Kawhi shot three of nine, but like I said, most of his shots did come in the first quarter. You guys can see seven of his nine shots came in the first, and I just could not make anything. Like, I was just, I don't know. I was just missing a lot of wide open shots, but Glenn Rice off the bench had eight. Larry Bird did his thing. Uh, Karolinko did his thing. I only scored six of them. Like I said, I was scoring a lot before. Um, just really couldn't get him open all that much, and then I didn't even shoot with Wes Unseld, but, uh, yeah, we're gonna hop into another one though, and then we're probably gonna end the video there. So two unlimited games, you know, two triple threat games, I think, you know, some fun. Yo, if we keep playing teams like this, this 12-0 run's actually gonna be kind of easy. I mean, everybody that's running Giannis at the two, like I know in your head it might sound good, but believe me, or it might like look good, but Giannis at the two is just not the move this year. Like if it was like the glitchy one that could, you know, shoot from half court maybe, but a Giannis without range extender, or no, let me let me actually rephrase that. A shooting guard without range extender, like that's not the move. So I, I very much recommend you guys not doing that. I mean, if it's your favorite player in the world and you want to run him at the two, go for it, but not the move. 
Let's go. Kawhi, easy wide open. Green Bean, I will take that. I'm going to go ahead and get out of the zone because all he's doing right now is just smacking shots in my face. And the, the more I let that continue, the more frustrated I'm going to be. So let's go. Good charge right there from Kawhi. Perfectly for perfect spot to stand. That's just another good way to stop deep hash rim runners. Um, just to let you guys know, though, if you guys do try to do that, uh, you're most likely going to get run over like nine times out of ten um instead of get a charge so it is a good way as long as you can time it properly if not then like i said you're just gonna get run over probably nine times out of ten so just a fair warning on that one bird easy quick stop good wide open three let's go um so this is probably gonna be the second game in a row that you guys don't see much of the first quarter um just again a lot of wide open missed shots a lot of shots being smacked in my face so it's all good i think that's what we're gonna do is from now on i'm probably just gonna cut a majority of the first quarter of the games out um just because like i said it's literally just like algo it's like the algo quarter where just they have to hold hands you know what i'm saying like they gotta hold their hand the participation trophies like all that sort of fun stuff has to kind of happen in the first quarter like you guys can see this kid's team is not that good so naturally my players have to like be dumb let's go Kawhi wide open please knock that down thank you I was gonna say man I'm gonna lose my mind bro so finally we actually are able to knock down another shot six point lead we just got to keep doing our thing like I said we're playing defense he's probably I will say this he is greening some of his shots like 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 he's full whiting the open ones and greening the contested ones like that's the type of stuff that's happening here oh, how do i not get that steal or that one thank you finally third time's the charm apparently all right so now i know you got to tip three passes to get one steal terrible animation siakam's get it or got it to go though honestly i know i said in the beginning of this video that i was gonna try to like you know cut down on some of the stuff about like complaining about the game whatever and honestly at this point man if you don't like it like I, I don't know what else to tell you there i can't play this game and just not talk about how bad it is it is impossible okay so my opponent ran a 3-2 to close out that quarter okay 3-2 now that is very easy to beat in this game if you know what you're doing hence that right then and there okay so it's very easy to beat now what's not easy to beat is the fact that you're not allowed to green anything throughout the entire freaking quarter that is what's very really annoying i will say that the fact that we missed a lot of wide open shots is very infuriating so if in this second uh half here we will be able to um knock down our shots and play some uh you know the game of basketball we might be okay honestly we might actually be okay we're back to back greening right there so it's looking pretty promising i will say that Let's go. Good green from Karolinko right there. I didn't even expect to green that, so that's why I wasn't even saying anything at first. But, uh, yeah, at least we are able to actually green that. I am running a full court press, though, because he actually is taking a lot more baited shots this way. It's just, again, we just have to be able to actually grab the ball. That was a good pass. I will very much gladly credit him for that. He dotted the hell out of me on that one. Can you please get out of my way? Let's go, AK. Wide open, easy dunk in the paint. I actually think I figured out what he is doing. I think he's running a... Uh, I think what he's actually doing is running a 2-3, but bringing the center up, because I've seen a lot of people do that, and kind of make, they'll make like a makeshift 3-2 in a way. Um, that was just terrible defense on me right there. But let's go, good pass. Glenn Rice, wide open, good green bean. Glenn Rice is definitely kind of carrying the team here, granting those shots and whatnot. Um, we definitely needed that. All right, let's go. Good defense here. Come on. Let's go. Good defense. Stick right there with him. Right there with him. AK, way to be there. Let's go. We're clamping that up all game. There we go. I'm not mad that he greened it. I'm mad that that's only 23%. Like, there's a reason why he's shooting freaking 77% from the field right now. Like, it legit just does not make sense to me. Wide open Mikhail in the corner. Full white. Uh, you already used to it. It's all good. Let's go. Pass that back to him. Karolinko. We should have shot that in all honesty. We're going to go all the way with it, though. Terrible double team. Leaving Glenn Rice, the only guy knocking consistent shots down for us, wide open. So I'll take that all day. Let's go. What are you going to do? You're going to snatch back? Yeah, I'm right there. Let's go. That's me all day. I kind of, <laughs> I'm not going to lie. I really wanted to be, a, you know, a not nice person, we'll say. And I was going to crab him and then shoot a three. But uh, yeah, I didn't want to be that much of a, you know, a, a not nice person. Okay. Maybe I should have because we're not getting steals anyway. So it don't matter. So there we go. Kind of got a nice little quit right there. It just took a second because obviously, you know, the game had to do its thing. 
but we knocked down our shots, got some steals, and uh, did force my opponent to quit. So I will gladly take that nice little win right there. Like I said, if we can match up with teams like that, I'm chilling. Like, I have no problem with that. It's just the freaking algo is what kills me. So I will take that, though. Nice little win for the squad here. I'm going to give one to you. I'm going to give... No, I'm not going to move. Nope, nope. Let's try that again. We'll give him a gold contract. Give him a... Nope. Okay. Why are we struggling to put contracts on? There we go. So, not that bad of an episode. We pick up Fisher. We pick up Robert Ori. Uh, we got Kawhi. We got AK. We made a lot of moves for the team. Just got to make sure that we keep pushing forward and get this 12-0. Because like I said, Jerry Lucas is going to be a really good fit in place of Paul Pierce. He'll probably get kicked off the team or put in the third string, whatever the case is there. Um, and then we will be getting James Worthy as well. So, I don't know. We'll see what we have to do there maybe end up moving mikhail off the team and putting ak at center we'll see what happens there but thank you guys so much for watching i hope you guys did enjoy like i said i love recording these no money spent videos man because you guys kill the support on every single one so uh yeah thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video